Hi, uh, Scott Gregory here. I'm at my home club, Corehampton. Um, great practice facility here for short game. Uh, just going to talk through basic setup for a bunker shot and certain things that I would do to hit a perfect bunker shot. So, the most important thing would be strike line. So you want to draw a line about a ball behind the ball that you're about to hit. Now the idea would be is that you're then basically just going to work on hitting that single line. And that's your basic drill. In terms of setup, your left heel in line with the ball. And then the club head is your hand pointed towards your left toe. Now in terms of hand, for me, I like to see the shaft pointing vertically up, which is straight up that right hand line. And then from there, just hit down into the sand. So if you play it properly, you should be able to pop it up nice and high. Like that. Looks like a standard bunker shot. I'm going to look at something that you're probably going to get a little bit of now out of lockdown with no racing bunkers. Um, going to look at a plug line, then one out of the footprint, and then one from kind of on top of the footprint when it's sat way up in the air, and how you would go about those shots. So we'll start off with a plug line. Okay, so we've got a nice plug line there. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to adopt the same setup. It's going to be ball on the left heel. Now for me, contrary to what most people would teach with a shut face, I actually lay it more open. So I'd lay the head as wide open as I can get it and get my right hand quite weak on the grip. And then from there, when you get to the top of the swing, I'm trying to feel like my left shoulder is working down and into the ball. So I'm working more this way. And what I'll do is it's going to throw the club head out more and mean I can get into the back of the ball better. And basically it should mean that you can strike the sand in the same point, a ball within that ball, and the ball should pop up in the air a little bit more than if you played it with a shot hit. So if you play it correctly, you should be able to pop it up in the air like that. Secondly, you're probably going to get a lot of it so we go kind of in the middle of a footprint there. Now basically, all you want to do is try and steepen your angle of attack a little bit. Well, that's how I would play. You're still going to try and hit within a ball of that ball, so you're kind of going to catch it quite clean. So effectively, you're not going to need much speed. So basically, we're just going to hit really steep into the back of the ball. It's going to be similar to the plug line, just that I don't need the face wide open. I can play it standard, which for me would be the leading edge so that it's aiming at my left toe. So if I went in I take the same setup as I normally do and then I'm basically just going to throw the club steep into the back of the ball with the face half open. I like that, call it a little heavy. But... Now lastly, one that you might get potentially is the old mountain ball. So effectively what I'm going to try and do to hit this shot is keep everything shallower so that my angle of attack and the way I feel the club is that the club's going to be lower to the ground for longer. So it will come in nice and low, hit the ball and then exit low and it, that for me should see the flight kind of stay a little bit more normal. Same kind of setup, it's just the feeling that from the top we're going to kind of dump the club out in front and then just drag it in behind the ball. You shouldn't see the flight change too much. And that'd be three kind of more technical shots that you could work on and hopefully that'll help your bunker game.